Cleanup and power restoration could take weeks in Louisiana. Hurricane Ida leaving hundreds of families in the dark and killing at least two people. The death toll expected to climb as rescue efforts continue. Local search and rescue teams also heading down to Louisiana from the Illinois area to save people who were trapped. Now let's bring in meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist into the mix now. Mary Kay, would Ida bring any rain our way all the way up here? Well, Ida is moving to the north and barely to the northeast, but here's the trend. Even though all that moisture now is moving into northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, the reason it won't make it to Chicago is because it's going to merge with the stationary front and then eventually move toward the mid-Atlantic states. So instead, we have dry high pressure that's going to keep us dry and quiet. That's even going to break down this Iowa disturbance. I've been following as well. So it looks like we're going to stay cool here with this pattern in place compared to last week. So in the morning, 60 degrees in Aurora, 62 McHenry, 61 in Valparaiso. And then in the afternoon, lower 80s will be the story unless you're right along the shoreline. Then temperatures will be in the mid and upper 70s for us. So here's how it plays out. Remnants from Ida will merge with this front and then swing to the right as high pressure continues to dominate the weather picture around the Great Lakes region. And as the wind flow comes around this ridge of high pressure, that is going to send up a lake breeze for us for Wednesday and for Thursday as well. So we're going to have some cool days here. Wednesday, a high of only 79. Now with all that sunshine, the lakefront will look inviting, but with that northeast flow, we have some real concerns. So the National Weather Service went ahead with a beach hazard statement. It's valid Tuesday evening right through Thursday morning. So even with those sunny, nice conditions, you want to stay out of the water midweek during this time frame because of the dangerous rip current risk and waves could build three to five feet. So that's what we are watching in the middle of the week, even though we will see a lot of sunshine below average temperatures there. Here is your holiday weekend, low to mid 80s leading into it. Only a tiny chance of an isolated shower on Saturday. That rain chance running 20 to 30 percent. But Labor Day right now is looking ah, nice, Erica. All right, making those holiday plans. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary Kay.